In the Marvel Cinematic Universe, the Guardians films very much made it a point to show us that Xandar exists, that the Nova Corp exists, that there's probably some sort of experimentation that went on with building the human rocket, aka Nova. And then we get to Avengers Infinity War, and we learn in the first opening scene of the film that Xandar has been decimated and everybody is gone. Well, that's a lot of wasted potential, right? They can't show us that now, can they? Well, as it turns out, they can. It looks like two films are set to somewhat explore the decimation and what happened to Xandar. Look, you guys know I love the MCU, so don't take this as me hating on the whole cosmic side of things or Guardians 2 because I don't really like that film or hating what they did with it. What I'm talking about is the fact that I, like many people, did not like how Xandar was established as this force that's literally protective. They're there. They got these giant forces. They're working on things. They're technologically advanced. They have a great planet and a system there. And instead of getting more of that, we literally learned that they're just wiped off the universe, I guess. I mean, they were decimated, so we don't know what Thanos did. But quite clearly, he had to run rampant on there and destroy everything to get that stone. So... Yeah, and then even in the dialogue, they say, hey, it was decimated. We don't know what it looks like. I hate that. I hated that about the two Avengers films because we never got to see what happens. I really hate the idea that we might never see it. Well, as it turns out, we are going to see it. And it might be in one of the two upcoming films or both showing us different aspects of it and John C. Riley's character surviving the decimation of Xandar. And it looks like the idea is that the Marvels and the upcoming Guardians of the Galaxy 3 are going to be our eyes, ears, and sort of through line of what happened with Xandar in terms of the bigger picture of what was going on during the decimation and what happens after it with the survivors and where are they now. Now, this does make sense in terms of both of those films because, again, Captain Marvel has a connection there because of the whole intergalactic thing and the police and the police force and them kind of, you know, having history with the Kree and all that. And that can really easily fit in there. So this makes sense. Guardians 3 also makes sense because you would assume that somebody like Gamora probably ran back to Xandar or somewhere where she can maybe find some contacts because, again, the Gamora here is the evil multiverse version. So she's a little confused, right? She probably had some contacts and sources on Xandar in her universe or her specific timeline that we didn't see that they're going to want to explore. So we're going to have to find out what happened with these. So flashbacks and exploring and telling us what happened does make sense here. And I am excited by this because my hope is that this brings us to Nova himself and whatever plans they have. And the decimation of Xandar honestly reminds me a lot of the status quo of the Nova Corp over on the Guardians of the Galaxy video game, where they kind of follow the same through line where the Novas have been pretty much wiped off from the face of the galaxy. They're little fragmented things here or there, and, uh, you know, they're not as powerful as they were. Maybe that's their goal, and maybe that's why the game kind of weirdly lines up with some of these things. So I guess we'll find out soon, but this all sounds good to me. Um... You know, finally seeing what happened to Xandar and who survived. Yeah, probably needed. Because you got to get to Nova eventually. <laughs>